What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Cardfy Casual channel and today we're going to be going through a new segment I'm going to call What If? And today we're going to be taking a look at all the blaster cards that were revealed so far as well as theorizing what Masonic Lord Blaster skill could be. So starting off with Arc Saver Dragon from two streams ago, he's a 14k base grade 4 with the first skill continuous on Vanguard Circle and Hand. If there's a total of 3 or more different cards with Blaster in your Vanguard Circle and Drop Zone, this card gets grade minus 1. And that means you can ride him as your first grade 3 if you have a Blaster on the Vanguard Circle and you've used at least 2 of your Blaster units to guard or um, just toss them into uh, the Drop Zone that they got retired or some other effect. And this is really good because you can ride your Masigning Lord Blaster over it and it's going to stop you from breaking. And his second skill helps very much with uh, maintaining that first ride. Call in play by Cost Con Blast 3 and Soul Blast 3. Select up to one card with Blaster in its name from each of your deck. Drop zone, soul and damage zone for a total of three cards or less and call them onto rear guard circles and then shuffle your deck. So this really helps to fill out the field and you can call three different units to activate or get closer to activating those Blaster unit skills. And um, the reason I say that is because we're going to go through the next three cards and each of these cards have some sort of effect. Where if you have uh, six different units with Blast in its name, those units get some sort of skill. So starting off with the one that was released on the stream, we have Blaster Arrow. If you have six units with different units with Blast in its name, those units cannot be selected by your opponent's effects. Which means they can't be retired, they cannot be deleted, vanished, vanish deleted. Um, they can't be chosen for any other effects, they can be attacked but that's pretty much it. As well as giving your vanguard resist, which means your vanguard itself cannot be deleted, cannot be dealt instant damage by Phantom Blast Dragon and uh, Tachikaze's armament gauge, and also cannot be fully locked down by San Baku. And a second skill, call in play if there are a total of 3 or more different units with Blast and their names. By cost, discard 1 card from your hand, search up to 1 Arc Saber Dragon from your deck, reveal it and add it to your hand. So this works really well with Arc Saber Dragon getting that early search on grade 2 if you have it on the rear guard. Um, but at the same time, if you call um, her back from the drop zone using Arc Saber Dragon's skill, you do get another Arc Saber Dragon to rewrite for an additional force marker and possibly if you didn't use the effect or if you rack up enough damage um, to use Arc Saber Dragon's skill again, you can counter blast 3, heal 1 more damage and go from um, 5 damage, which you would be at, back to 4 damage. So really, really good skill. Uh, and giving your whole field resist is of course always a good effect if your opponent is not playing uh, Kagero and some of the new cards they're going to be getting. But moving on to the next blaster, we have Blaster Rapier. Continuous on rear guard if you have 6 different units with blaster in name, this unit gets power plus 15,000. So a really powerful attacker and a second skill when attacking the vanguard if you have a vanguard with blaster or arc saver in its name. Take a look at the top card of your deck and return it to the bottom of your deck. I'll put it at the top or the bottom. So very much in the vein of uh, Oracle Think Tank skills and you'll see why later. Next we have Blaster Dagger, Grade 1, 8k. If you have 6 different units with Blaster in its name, those units get boost. And when your Vanguard with Blaster or Arc Saver in its name hits a Vanguard, you may return this unit back to your hand. So it doesn't seem like it'll be very good late game because you'll be having, uh, you want to have the full, uh, the full 6 units of Blaster. Uh, because then you get to activate all their abilities. But early game, if you want to rush with uh, the Blaster Dagger when you're on Blaster Blade or even earlier on in the game, then he'll be pretty good for that. As well as recouping some shield uh, for you to guard with in the next few turns to follow. So as you guys can see, the three units we've revealed so far, Arrow, uh, Rapier and uh, Dagger, actually have skills that very much follow the IMR versions of the cards that they're going to be getting. So if you see right here, there is the Corin version of Blaster Arrow and there'll also be the Blaster Rapier Misaki IMR and the Shingo version of Blaster Dagger and like Nubatama, the clan that Shingo plays, uh, Blaster Dagger bounces back from hand. Like Oracle Think Tank, Blaster Rapier checks the top card and puts it at the bottom or the top and with two more cards to go we have Naoki most likely as Blaster Javelin and we have Aichi as Blaster Sword. Now, um, in the light of you know all these effects, it is likely that they will have some sort of skill where if you have six units uh, with Blaster in its name, something will happen. So I think for Royal Paladins, maybe you'll get to uh, draw a card if you call it and then you have six different units with Blaster in its name. Or maybe that will be its second skill. If you call it, then you have a Blaster or Arc Saver in the name, you can draw one card. Counter Blaster 1, draw one card. Kind of like uh, Ellen and Marin. Uh, the two Royal Padding cards that give you that kind of additional advantage whenever you draw, uh, when you place a card onto the field. 
And then for um, Naoki's blaster uh, javelin, it's uh, very possible that it might have a skill that allows you to bind or retire one of your opponent's rearguards, as is the case uh, for all the Narukami cards, that it's its main uh, thing, which is to bind your opponent's rearguards. So taking a look at uh, all these five new blaster units, in addition to blaster, um, blaster, uh, blaster blade, Exculpate the blaster and Messianic Lord Blaster himself, you will have eight choices of blaster units to fill up your deck with. And with those choices in mind, I'm going to go through the meat of this video. What if Messianic Lord's blaster skill on Vanguard said, if you have six different units with blaster in its name, these units get power plus 10,000. Now, the reason why I think uh, this might be the case is because for the most part, besides Blaster Rapier, uh, Messianic Lord Blaster is the only card or one of the few cards possible that would give a consistent power boost to the whole field because if you are playing blaster units and let's say you don't have uh, a bunch of force markers on the field your rear guards are really only going to be uh, 18k columns usually unless you're playing a blaster rapier in those cases the skill of assigning law blaster would really come in handy of course only on your turn giving you 10,000 power uh, to your entire field or all units with blaster in its name and for a second skill, uh, I think it would be pretty interesting if it had a skill also that uh, treated one or more of your blaster units as units with different names. So something like uh, if you have a unit with blaster in its name on the field, uh, that unit has a different name from any other unit with blaster in its name. Uh, but I don't think that is as likely because that will make the condition a little bit too easy to fulfill. But in order to guess what this Messianic Law Blaster skill is going to be, we're going to take a look at his original skill. Because keeping in vain with the original uh, Arc Saber Dragon skill did pretty much the same thing for Counter Blast 3 and Soul Blast 3. You could take one unit from the drop zone, from the deck, and from the damage, and also the soul if you had any soul remaining, and call it the rear guard. Messianic Lord's Blaster original Messianic Lord Blaster's original skill was that when you drive check reveals a grade 2 or greater blaster card, you may call that card to rear guard circle. If you call that unit, that unit, this uh, Masonic Lord Blaster gets that unit's original power until the end of the turn, and if that card was, uh, had Blaster Blade in its name, the Masonic Lord Blaster would gain one critical. So I think that might be the case in this booster. Maybe Masonic Lord Blaster skill would be if you drive check that unit, you can call over another blaster or call it onto the field. And because you have eight options, you can actually replace a column or replace a few rear guard circles, and perhaps that will give you an additional attack or additional two attacks depending uh, how confident you are in that ability, that unit's ability to hit. And I think this is probably very, is very possible because it makes for that very big uh, anime finish kind of uh, effect and will give you uh, quite a lot of pretty good attacks, anywhere between uh, three normal attacks to five attacks if you call in the first two, if this is the case. And maybe if it's a blaster blade, it will give your vanguard a critical as well, which puts pressure on your opponent to guard the vanguard. And if we're assuming that the first skill does give the 10k power to the rear guards, that would make the rear guards uh, in the front row that much better at attacking and not needing that boost, so you don't have to like uh, not boost the first round, just guessing or hoping you have the trigger. And uh, if you look at Blaster Rapier, of course, she's also meant to be used, it seems like, before the attack phase. Uh, because you want to check the top card, put it at the top or the bottom, of course you can use it defensively, and if there's a trigger there, you can leave it on top. But I think the more likely situation is to check the top card to see if it's something you want, whether it's a trigger or another Blaster unit which you want to call. So yeah, that was pretty much uh, my theory of what could be the Signing Lord Blaster skill. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe down below. Hit that bell notification icon to stay updated with all my videos. And I'll see you guys next video. As always, have fun. And remember, it's okay to play casual.